Hey guys, what is going on? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome back to another episode of the San Diego Padres franchise here on MLB 15 the show on the PS4. So, uh, this is basically just an update on the franchise, what's going on, standings, stuff like that, and also the 2015 first year player draft. So, through a, about two months, uh, yeah, about two months now in the 2015 season, the Padres are 32 and 22, 10 games above 500, which is good enough to put them one game back of the first place position in the NL West behind the Dodgers. We will get there. We, they just have two games in hand, that's all. And we are in the second spot in the NL wildcard again, two games um, behind the Nationals. So. Here is the standings, just running through them. If you see your favorite team, feel free to pause and look at them. But yeah, I really am happy with the play of the Padres so far. I was a little questionable with the um, infield, the middle infield, really. Um, but Jed Jerko has played well, and the trade for Escobar really helped out a lot. So I'm really glad with the decision I made to get that trade for Escobar, as he's really helping a lot. And uh, it's looking pretty good in the middle infield. So here we go for the in the first year player draft. We do not have a first round pick. I think it was through one of those trades in the offseason. So we have the 8th pick in the 2nd round. That's our first pick. We're looking at a couple of people here. Starting pitcher Jesus Peralta, who was a 95 potential, 63 overall. Or Trey Cavazos, 93 potential, 76 overall. We're going to go with Cavazos just because he is already a higher overall. Um, and this draft class is okay, especially since we're in the 2nd round. We're not going to get anything too good, which is a bummer that we didn't have a 1st rounder. But in the 3rd round, we're looking at Josh Marquez. 88 potential, 66 overall. You can see his potential on each individual stats. So we're going to go with him. Again, these are just later rounds, second and third. Yeah, they're important, but at the same time, we're not going to really get an all-star unless we get really lucky here. So we're going to pick Ozzy Valido in the fourth round as he's an 85 potential. And also we're looking at guys that have a good ETA for the MLB. I think we got one in 2018 or something like that. So here are the people we drafted in the draft so far. Um, nothing special. I think uh, Cavazos was a B potential, but all the rest of them were C's. Um, so overall, the draft wasn't too good. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad, but obviously the potentials can increase. But you know, since we didn't have a first round pick, it wasn't the best either. So that is it. Just a quick little update. I like the way we're doing in the standings. Um, you'll see more gameplay next against the Atlanta Braves in Atlanta. As we just saw the first year player draft. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. Tell your friends about the channel, spread the word, make sure to subscribe, and as always, peace.